Okay, let's give you guys another example. So here you've got a function f of x and another one g of x. We've got to find um, f composed with g and then g composed with f. And then we have to compute this thing, whatever this thing means later on, I will explain. So let's try and work out this first. So you got to get, what this means is you've got to get the function g, bury it, get this function, bury it inside the f function. So put this x squared inside this x here. So that would be uh, 3. So when you put this into the x squared, this would be x squared. Because when you put this inside, in, inside here, it will look like 3, this thing here, 3, this thing here. And then you've got your plus 1. So well, that, that's what it means. Get, when you get... When you get g of x and bury inside f of x, it will then give you this. Now get f of x, bury it inside g. So get this whole thing here, bury the whole thing inside the x here. So that will then give you that will then give you three x plus one. Remember, you're burying it inside the x, and then you've got your squared squared. So there's a difference here. This and this. Now well, when it comes to this, it says. Um, solve when the two are equal to each other. So set this to be the same as this. So really to answer this, you want to get uh, f composed of g, which is this one here. So set this, x squared plus 1, equals this thing here, equals 3x, uh, 3x plus 1, and then all squared. So now it's just a matter of solving this. So to solve this, let's multiply this out. Um, uh, 9x squared uh, plus, you're going to get 3x and another 3x, that would be 6x, and then, uh, and then 1 times 1 would be plus 1. You see, I can do this in my head, but when you come to do it, you have to do it step by step. You have to do this uh, 3x plus 1. This times this will be um, uh, 9x squared. And then this would be 3x. This would be another 3x, hence 6x. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Um, and then, uh, and then, so here you've got um, 3x squared plus 1. So x squared, x squared, it's like me saying 9 elephants take away 3 elephants. That would be uh, 6 elephants. 6, and then this thing here disappears, and then you've got 1, 1, in your mind, take away 1 from both sides, that would give you 0 over here, and uh, uh, when you, oh, let's divide everything by 6, uh, that will then give us, um, 0 divided by 6 would be 0, this would be x squared, this would be x, so to solve this, um, to solve this, factorize the x, because x is in common, x is in common. So it would look like this, x, and then 1, uh, sorry, and then and then it would be uh, x plus 1 equals 0 here. Because x times x would be x squared, x times 1 would be x. So if, if you're here, factorize it out. So now you've got um, two bubbles. Uh, you've got this bubble multiplying with this bubble, and you're trying to make 0. So you can see that um, when you put 0 into here, the whole thing would be 0. So x equals 0 is one solution, and the other solution is negative 1. Uh, and x equals negative 1. So there's your answer there, okay?